when you when you when you make the jump when you become an an anarchist when you realize that um, no, nothing good can be done uh, through the government you, you yeah you 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 kind of it, it it seems like there's there's not much after that to talk about what 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 then what then can we do we 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 live in this world where there is no there is no society without governments. Every there's government everywhere, and and the, some of us used to um, get involved in politics and and get excited about a particular candidate. I think we all got excited about Ron Paul's candidacy, and even to the point where we were looking for the Libertarian candidate and figured, well, let's we'll we'll just vote for him maybe or. I think some people re re refrained from voting once Ron Paul didn't get the nomination. I wonder how many people voted for Ron Paul. Uh, that'd be that'd be interesting to find out. I'd like to know how many people actually did vote for Ron Paul, like write his name in or whatever. That that didn't get counted. There's no statistics to show that. Anyway, what I, I wanted to talk about what there is to talk about as an anarcho-capitalist. Because I just watched uh, a Billy Rock's video where she, she says, um, "There's there's uh, there's nothing to talk about. I'm an anarcho-capitalist now, and I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say." And I, I, I know how you feel, but there there there's all kinds of things to talk about. There there. We don't agree. Anarcho-capitalists don't agree about much of anything. If if you get down to it, n hardly any of us, any two of us, have the same um, idea in our mind about how society should or would be um, without without government. You know, and and we, we can we we should talk about this. We should talk about these things. I just I, I just got through watching. Um, storm clouds gathering little um, um, what did he do he talked to some anarcho capitalists and um, asked them to explain to him how how certain situations would be dealt with in an anarcho capitalist society of course he doesn't ask it that way he said how, how would anarcho capitalism deal with this thing as if anarcho capitalism is some kind of system and then uh, what's his name I can't remember his name the one the guy who was answering most of the questions um, he he just answers back as if you know as, as if it's as, as if it's a valid question as if if yeah yeah there is a system called anarcho capitalism and here is how it works um, so you know, we need to talk about that. We need to talk about what we're talking about. What what is anarcho-capitalism? It's it, it, it's the absence of government, right? It's it's a society without a central government. Um, is it is it the case that nothing is illegal in an anarcho-capitalist society? I mean, anarcho-capitalists, we all um, uh, will affirm the non-aggression principle, right? So obviously we w it wouldn't be a, a lawless society. We would have a law, right? The non-aggression principle. So, uh, wh how, wh what would that look like? I mean, can you write it down? Would we would we not be an anarcho anarcho capitalist society if we wrote it down at the at the outset? And th that's something else to talk about. This this is uh, uh, something that that really needs to be hammered out. How do you get there? I have some ideas about that. I'm not going to talk about them now, but I've I've got some ideas of how to get there. I know how you can't get there. You can't get there by um, participating in the current current system. You can't get there. You can't expect um, it to just emerge. Not not in in uh, not from the climate the way it is now. We we've been used to governments for for 5,000 years, you know? What do we have? What kind of examples can we point to in history of stateless societies? We've got two, you know? And they're not really stateless societies. They're sort of, we've got Ireland, right? Ireland from the, the 6th century to the 16th, somewhere in there. And uh, it's, it, I mean, it was, it was feudalism. 
which is fine. I, I mean, at least there wasn't a central government. But when if you if you if you're really honest about it, you'll look at it and say, well, there was um, there was government. Their their uh, the systems they had for for uh, dealing with disputes they were emergent they really were, um, and it's interesting to, to to read about how how they how they dealt with things they they how they persuaded somebody um, to to submit to uh, to the decision of an arbiter for example they would they would uh, they would shame him. <laughs> most of the time into doing it they they had one um one way was to have say you had a rich person who didn't want to uh, who who didn't want to submit to 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 arbitration when uh some poor guy was asking him to some poor guy thought he was wronged by the rich guy so he's he 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 tries to get him to submit and they, and and uh he the rich guy just won't he's like, no no screw you um well the poor guy would um sit at the gate of the rich man's property and he would fast he would he would not eat and the rich man was expected to join him in the fast and uh whoever um uh uh like gives whoever whoever chickens out first whoever eats first uh loses right so if the poor guy gives up and eats first I don't know what you'd do if the poor guy doesn't have any way to get food because <laughs> he'd just starve. But um, if the poor guy g gives up and and uh, and eats something first or leaves the gate, um, then there's no the the rich guy doesn't have to submit. And and if the rich guy gives up and eats first or never participates, it's assumed that he's like I, I think if he doesn't participate, it was assumed that he's dishonorable. And if he if he uh, begins to participate uh, in the uh, the challenge, the fast, and then and then gives up and eats first. And I guess that that's interesting because the rich man, you'd assume he's he's more spoiled, so he's probably more used to being able to eat whenever he wants, right? Um, so it's <laughs> it's probably often the case that the rich guy would would uh, um, join in and and think he's he's gonna gonna win and out fast the poor guy and then you know he can't because he's so used to being able to eat whenever he wants he just gives up and eats something but that's funny isn't it you, you've got they they had an honor system it, they 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 um if if a if a guy wouldn't wouldn't um submit to your challenge uh, or or what do you what do you say i i keep saying submit but whatever um, if he wouldn't cooperate and and agree to abide by the decision of an arbiter, um, you 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 just challenged his honor. So yeah, th that wouldn't work today, and I probably wouldn't. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, it it's interesting to note how 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 things actually worked out when there wasn't a, a government, and that's that's one thing that could be talked about forever. How what would happen? We can speculate all we want about how uh, a, a stateless society would be. And, and you, we should imagine that they would, there would be um, all kinds of them. There would be all kinds of different ones. There, the, it depends on the culture, doesn't it? A lot of things depend on the culture, how things will get done. It depends on the population, you know? The more densely popula populated areas tend to develop other um, uh, customs and, and, and habits that, that less populated areas don't develop. And, so on um but no the question of how to get there is is important and you know what i've noticed i've noticed that a lot of anarchists are really just interested in talking about it and and they're really just interested in talking about it with people i guess who are who are not anar they're interested in arguing about it you know arguing about whose system is better who's who's more who 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 has uh, a more who can appeal to more righteous indignation you know who's who's got the 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 best moral system you know i don't know um but when you when you when it comes down to it when you challenge people to to actually uh contribute their time and effort to uh, uh taking steps that would cause uh, a, a a stateless society to exist uh there most people are not interested at all 
even in talking about it.